What's up everybody? Welcome back. And I'm with another video and I know you're thinking, okay, please tell me it's not the same Pokemon and it isn't. Okay, to be honest, as I said, I'm pretty done with Emerald. Um, I really honestly haven't got anything much else to do. So I figured let's move on. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. And I hope you guys like this, I've seen a lot of people do um, walk through this pack and apparently it's one of the most popular um, Pokemon hacks. So that's what we're going to do. We are about to play, what is it? Pokemon Live Platinum. There we go. Okay, new game. Oh wait. Okay, um, my name is Jasmine, but people often call me Professor. This is the type of Pokemon. There we go. In this world, there are creatures called Pokemon. We humans and Pokemon live in harmony, some as partners in wilds and others as friends. Not everyone thinks and acts this way, but studies have shown that Pokemon and humans can share a powerful bond. You know, it, it did prove it in the last in Emerald. We 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 got on well with our Pokemon. We we did pretty well. We got some. Great Pokemon too, actually. There are many new Pokemon to be discovered and catalogued. And many secrets surrounding rare Pokemon that elude science. To unravel these mysteries, I've been doing research. Your... Well, your research is pretty shit if you don't know who I am. But we are a boy. We are a boy. We are gonna go with a new name. Uh, we are gonna go with... The same name as we use in Emerald. No, not Stew. Here we go. There we go, Steven. And that's it, yes! Ah, okay. You're Steven from Yellowtown. We're neighbors. Brilliant. We're neighbors. Now, now's. Wait, now's when <laughs> your adventure begins. You will meet many friends and enemies, but you must have the courage to maintain your friendship with your Pokemon and continue to grow. Well, come over to my lab. I'll show you my research. <laughs> research. Yeah. And with that, the sprite actually does look pretty badass. It does look really, really cool. This isn't a normal move. What the hell is going on? Okay. Where is this place? It sounds like a dream or some kind of messed up world. What is it? I've honestly not played this, so this is all a blind walkthrough. I've seen maybe half an hour of people play this, not much more so after that. I just, you know, it's totally blind for me. Arceus. Looks like Arceus, Caratina, Dialga and Palkia are having a little meeting. Uh, Giratina. Um, Palkia's grab now a Dialga's growling. Oh, damn! Hey, it's a. It could be something dirty. It could, be. but they're attacking Arceus. Arceus breaks away. Separates the tree. Them. God, come on. Oh, okay, okay. And. What I've noticed is this bit right here, it's supposed to kind of mirror this bit, but the frame, oh, damn, he's gone. But anyway, the frame just isn't quite there. Anyway, let's get back to this. This is very strange. I've got to be having a nightmare. Okay, and look, we're not even in the bed. We're lying on our covers. We're so lazy. So what I'm going to do is... Change it to fast. Change the frame to yeah, you know, clouds. It, lo it, lo it looks nice. It looks nice. We we'll do this. We'll do this. But we'll go straight onto the lap. No, we won't go straight onto the laptop. Wait, hold on. What is this world? What does this world look like? We don't even know. Oh, hi Stephen. I'm glad you woke up. I was waiting to give you a message from Professor Jasmine. She's asking if you'll go to Central C. Something strange is happening there involving Alpha. The language only you know because your father taught it to you before he disappeared. Why is it that 
the protagonist's um, father is never around. I think he's just got abandonment issues. He's got some real issues if he's just abandoning his kid and his wife. And it's strange how there's only two people in this whole region who know this, air quotes, language. So, I mean, me being one of them, I mean, why doesn't she know? Why doesn't more important people know? Why doesn't more qualified people know? People who are more qualified to save the world, better than me. Anyway, he disappeared. Okay. Ah, it seems we can talk. Right. There's one more thing. The clock, the clock stopped working and I forgot the time. Okay, it is indeed AM, so I'm gonna speedily, whoops, do this to the exact time. Wait, that's two, it's not quite two yet. It's 1.39 AM. There we go, that isn't the correct time. Thanks, remember to go to Central C to meet Professor Jasmine, she's very helpful to everyone. Yes, I'm on my way now, God, stop nagging me, woman. See you later. If you need me, I'll be downstairs. I might need you to say goodbye. Hey, this house is a bit bigger. Look, we're moving on up. Hey, Stephen, you're the pride of my life. Nah, I hope you're always this close to your mum. I hope so too. I hope you make me a, cheese, a grilled cheese sandwich when I get back. Instead of just sitting on your ass all day. Please, do you do anything else? Do you really do anything else other than sit there all day, every day? Waiting for me to come back? God. Anyway, this, I guess. Wait, who the hell is this? Hello, friend. Is this Stephen's house? Yes, it is. Yes, that's me. Good. Professor Jasmine asked me to come get you because she urgently needs your help in Central C. I'm on my way just now. I almost forgot to introduce myself. I'm Kaori. Kaori? Yes, the current champion of the Zeri League, and I'm guessing. We're in the Zeri region. I'm a close friend of Professor Jasmine's and she asked me and a few of my friends to urgently look into this great mystery. She thinks it may be linked to the world's creation. Very interesting. Let's go there as fast as we can. Salamence will take us there right now. Salamence, you fly. Salamence is really great, but I really like this animation. It's so, so cool. Central City, and we just come out, okay. Stephen, they must be close to the lake in the center of the city. Let's go. Okay, can you... I guess you can't run. I guess we can't run either. I don't think we have the shoes. Oh, okay, okay. Jasmine. Oh, yeah, Professor Jasmine. Hello, Stephen. I asked for help from Ash Ketchum. Damn, and Kaori for this study because it is very hazardous. If something goes wrong, everyone on this planet will be in danger. So let me get this straight. You ask the Zero League champion, you ask the most famous Pokemon trainer like in the Pokemon universe, and you're asking this brand new 10 year old who nobody knows except for the people who you told of my existence. Okay, I'll be careful professor. Hi, I'm the current world champion of the Pokemon League, and KRX is the champion of Zero. I already know you and Kaori are, I've seen you on TV all my life. So then that would make Ash a le No, you know, he's still t he's still 10. But I mean, Pokemon is out 20 years, so he should be 30. But anyway, he's seen ho -Oh in episode 1, so he he's still a 10 year old. Anyway, okay, Stephen, I called you here to decipher these ancient inscriptions written in the alphabet, and that is the only reason why we are brought along on this journey because we understand the alpha language. Hey, there we go. Dot 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 Wow, these inscriptions talk about the creation of the universe. It was made by Arceus who created the other Pokemon along with the rest of existence. But it seems that the balance of his power will gradually be broken and the world will pass through times difficult and dangerous for humanity. Dot 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 It really is important scripture that must be destroyed before evil forces discover his power. Okay, Professor, I will destroy this document, this old document now. He's also got an important. If I, along with my dad, knows, are the only two people who knows the alpha language, then, I mean, unless he tells people, or 
this. He teaches people this. I mean, I'm, I know I'm not gonna do it. So, I mean, you know, there, there's no real reason to destroy it. No, man, I don't think if there's only two people who know what it is, it's a very, very secret language. We're the only two people who know what it is. We're the only two people who can translate it. So, no, I don't think anybody's gonna learn anytime soon. But anyway, Napoleon is gonna use hydro pump to destroy it destroy the ruins. And he also used rain dance. There we go. And puddles form. And it's just totally covered. Okay, good job. Return Napoleon. Professor, now I have to deal with the Zero League's issues. Actually Stephen, I bid you farewell. Salamence, you fly. I'll go now to you. Goodbye Professor. If there are any problems, let me know immediately. I love how Ash just casually walks away it's for like the champion of the universe or the world i mean it's it's pretty <laughs> nonchalant well well professor i was waiting for those two strong trainers to go away so that i could force you to give me the secrets of the universe's creation as if she's really gonna do that i mean come on you'll never learn it prepare to face the fury of team steam go puccina see they all have the puccina Hey Steven, take a Pokemon, poke a ball from my bag and use it to fight Team Steam. Quickly Steven, get one of the balls. And it's back to the first gen stars. Nobody uses Bulbasaur, okay? Mainly because it's the weaker of the three Pokemon. You know, you can use it if you want a challenge, but... You know, I do want a challenge, but I'm not going to use Bulbasaur because... I've literally never chosen Bulbasaur, and I'm not going to use this as a, an excuse for me to choose Bulbasaur. But I always choose Squirtle, mainly because Blastoise is my favorite Pokemon, and I'm so tempted to do it. But... Uh, no, you know what? We're gonna do it. Forget about it. We're going to do it. We're going to use Squirtle. And here we go. We can pick up a really strong fire type along the way. Tackle indeed. Shook. Okay, two more tackles. Unless we get a crit. Just get a crit, please. No. Not a problem. Two. Okay. And there we go. Our very first battle as the new Pokemon trainer in the Ziri region. And, wow, we only get 15. Damn. Well, Professor, this time you were lucky, but next time I'll kidnap you. And from this point on, Stephen is on Team Steam's hit list. Why the hell would you tell her you're gonna kidnap her? I mean, at least do it by surprise. Yeah, really? Thank you very much, but now Team Steam will be after you, so I'll give you this Pokemon to protect yourself, take care, and train hard to challenge the Zero League. And always be ready to fight Team Steam. And with that, we get our very first Pokemon and we are gonna give it a nickname and since Squirrel is part is Squirrel and part Turtle but mainly a Turtle type what I am going to do is I'm gonna name it I'm gonna give it a nickname of a character who you know is a somewhat famous um, Turtle in Finding Nemo and, or even in the Disney franchise, and it's Buzz. So, yeah, that's um, that's the nickname I'm, I'm gonna give it. Okay, I'm gonna sneeze. Don't sneeze. Don't sneeze. Pineapples. Okay, it's gone. Okay, Stephen, let's go back to my lab in Yellowtown. That's the best way to get rid of a sneeze. Like if somebody's on the edge of sneezing, just say pineapples. Sort them out. Hi Stephen, welcome to my lab. Thanks, Professor. I'm ready to help you now. Okay, now that you know, you, now that you have your first Pokemon, I think you should train to become a Pokemon master by challenging the Zero League and its eight gyms. Yes, I've dreamed of this all my life, and now I'll make my dreams come true. Right, but first, I have one last request of you. To the east of Central City lies Marfeni Lake. Professor Oak is at the lake, and I urgently need to speak with him. Can I ask you to get him to contact me? Okay, I'll go right away. Okay, please tell me we get... 
Do we get running shield? I'm gonna go. Hey, Sphinx. You Shinx, sorry, not Sphinx. I'm gonna go in here. I'm gonna talk to my mom. I'm gonna, she better give me shoes. Hey. Okay. Well, never mind. You're just dull and boring. Still sat in your ass. Anyway. 4018. Well, the very first patch of graph. Are you shitting me? Well, we get a Wurmple. I mean, it's, suppose it's not that bad to just tackle it out. Okay, I'm just gonna speed this battle up. There we go. Looks like we have a first battle. Old Pokemon will always be strong. Not he won't. Not he won't. I'll show you. Um, yeah, you know what? Because it's our first trainer battle, we're just gonna keep it up. Oh, he's got four Pokemon. Of course he does, and they're all level four. You know, he's got four. I'm just gonna. Here we go. Level 6. Not bad stats. Tackle. Each tackle should be stronger. Okay. 2 down. We're level 7. And we learned Bubble. Venipede. Okay. I know it's not effective. But it's still something. Level 8. Level 9. Can we one hit it or take him out? Holy hell, we managed to actually do it. And we're level 10. We learn withdrawal. Okay. And with that, we defeat Bullcatcher Jose. That was a quality battle. I must acknowledge this. Yeah, I must acknowledge it too. Damn. That was impressive. Well, right. Oh, we... we oh my god, we can't even... We need to rest up, we really do need to rest up. Um, you there, little girl. You look like a... Hey, we got a max potion. You know, I ain't gonna... Thank you very much for that. Okay, what What do you say? It's TV, fire, grass. Okay, um, you, what do you want? Evolutionary stone, so take one. Okay. Hey, we get a thunderstorm if we want a Jolteon, which, you know, I'm not gonna... I'm not, I know exactly what electric type Pokemon I want to use. And you guys will see soon enough. Hey, there's a Narcissus statue. Pokemon, okay, do we... No, okay, it's not gonna give us a quick claw, I thought he would have. Um, I love grass type, they're strong, okay. I'm always so... Okay. If you should really be able to run indoors. But anyway, here's an RC statue. Legendary Pokemon not seen by any human. It seems to be divine. You. Arceus is a legendary Pokemon that can change its type to anything. I thought that was the Oxus. But that's only a theory because no one's seen it. You know, it's, it's the Oxus. I'm pretty sure about it. I'm really sure about it. Anywho. Oh, Fesser. Here's a little... Hey, we get a Pokeball. Okay. With that, I'm going to hopefully be able to ca capture a pretty good Pokemon. Hopefully, it will work. God, I... We need these shoes. We really need these shoes. We're 401. Okay, we're just going to... We're just going to go... Do no, we do not need a Bidoof. Run away. Right, now we're gonna have. Hey, there's a Pokeball! There's a Pokeball! Hey, it's a potion, I'm really gonna use this actually. Um, potion, use, okay. Oh my god, are you serious? I, go away! Okay. Right, let's just carry on with our journey and make it to the next town and then we'll leave it at that. You look like a beginner. Prepare to fight an experienced trainer. Who am I fighting exactly? What kind of Pokemon do you have? What level are they? Obviously you're the second trainer. They're gonna be low level. He's got five. God, right. Just use bubble the whole way through. Electric. Um it won't be electric, not this time. Jesus, level 11, okay, Blissle, um, it may or not, may or may not be, 
Um, Pidgey. I'm thinking about using a Pidgey. Level 12. Good. Do I have a full restore? I think I'm going to have to battle somebody with 401. You. I was watching you and saw that you're a Pokemon trainer. I know that Pokemon really like to eat berries and the best way to get this type of food is to judge just teeth on small trees and you will easily pick some berries obtain hey and that is teeth you when a pokemon is poisoned i really i love how i just refer to people as you you should always you you should use an antidote to cure it what kind of berries can we get yes okay well, thank you for not producing any berries we could use. Really helped me a lot. Now it's a pooch. In it. No. Okay, we will use that. Can we? No, okay, we gotta fight. You know, I'm not even mad. I'm just. I'm just gonna speed up to where we were. Um, I'm just. I'm actually really happy. Hey, Sarley. Here we go, right back into here, he's got it. Right. We can restart this, we're at full health, we're not paralyzed. We're faster, we're gonna use tackle, and another tackle, and speed through this as quick as we can. Venipede. Right, use another one, goodbye level 13. Okay, yes, we are gonna... You know, I'm... As I said in the last... Emerald. I'm not a offensive Pokemon, I'm a more of an offensive. So I'm gonna get rid of cool. I'm gonna get rid of Withdraw because you know I'm not more of the attack side, but use water gun, get rid of him. Use another water gun. Level 14. Okay, oh jeez, we are almost leveled up. Right. Okay, no. Hey, we got a potion. And you who? We are at Central City. Um, okay, good. I thought we were going to have to battle him. Um, okay, hey, look, there's another. Will you move? Jesus, making me go the long way. Well, we made it to Central City. We have our star Pokemon, and we're almost going to evolve. Um, already so yeah it's something to look forward to into the next episode um i'm really really looking forward to doing this um series and i hope you guys like it too so if you could leave a like and a comment i'd appreciate that and i'd appreciate that a whole lot more if you could hit that subscribe button i will be back with more soon and i will see you guys then peace